with the uh, with the week to do the fundamentals and get the reps? Mm -hmm. Have you come to any clarity as to how the quarterback situation is going to shake out on Saturday? Uh, we're getting we're getting closer. Yeah, I think our guys are, are competing well. I think they're all uh, they're all anxious to prove that uh, they can play better than than what we have at the position. And so I think the competition's been really good. And so we're gonna we'll have somebody ready to go out there on Saturday. Since you're not going to name who it is, is there is there any chance that you'll go with two, or are you committed to getting one guy and having him be the guy? There's a chance anything could happen. Beyond like ball security and obviously not turning the ball over, what else are you really looking for? With just uh, you know, you're looking at everything. We evaluate each and everything. I mean, how they carry themselves off the field, what they do leadership-wise. Uh, you know, obviously taking care of the football is the, the the most important thing they can do. And then just the decision-making process, understanding situational football. You know, the game the game is situational, and you you need to understand. You know, when do I need to, to pick this first down up and when is it okay to punt? You know, all those things have to be understood. When you look at Chaz on film with the throws he made in Miami, what, what stood out with the mistakes that he made in that game? Just, it was just a decision-making process. That's all it was. It was just processing and uh, making the, the, the right decision based on what he saw. Is that, how much of that is when you're not in the flow, you're, you know, the suspension and you're behind coming in? He is, you know, that was sort of the first time we've seen him all year. Yeah. Did that put, has that put him behind? I know you're trying to prepare him behind the scenes as much as you can, but. Well, I hope not. I mean, I hope it hasn't. I hope that's, uh, you know, because you understand what the situation is and you know what you're fixing to be going through. So you, you have to prepare yourself. Uh, whether you're getting the rep or you're watching the rep, we expect you to be getting a mental rep. And uh, you have to always, it's just like if you're the, you know, the number two quarterback. You, you have to prepare yourself to be the starter. I mean, you're an ankle away from being out on the field. And, and I think when that happens, you find out a lot of times if a guy has prepared himself. You know, and I'm not saying that, that Chaz hasn't. I'm saying that he didn't handle the situation that night very well. He just didn't process things very well. Larry, quarterback play for you in this offense has been a strength dating back to you know, West Counts at Middle Tennessee State. Why do you think there's been such a, a challenge in finding consistency in the last year and a half? Uh, I, I think uh, part of it is, is uh, you know, we haven't had anybody separate. You know, when you have somebody that really will separate themselves, they, they're they going to get more reps. I mean, you know, when you try to get more guys ready, that's fewer reps for, for each guy. And I, and I think it's important that, uh, you know, that at that position, uh, basically in the, in the style of offense we run, that guy – the, the whole thing is in his hands. And so he has to be able to process. He has to be able to make good decisions. And so he needs more reps. Has that proven to be difficult in terms of you're limited with the hours you have with these guys and trying to maximize the reps you do get? Well, it's the same as everybody gets, though. I mean, you know, everybody gets the same amount of time. So, and basically, you, you get so many reps within that time. And so it's how you split them and, and what a guy does with them.